Everybody knows that before you can fly, you have to go through school. Okay, no, not everybody knows that, but uh, it's the fact. You cannot fly until you learn how to fly. So today we're going to learn how to fly. What you see right now in front of you is the radar of the F-15. Basic instrument for finding anything. And right now, we're sitting on the ground, not moving. The plane is off, and the radar screen is showing us... Um, pretty much nothing. Uh, down on the left there you see the ground speed and currently it's reading zero because we're not moving. And over on the right there is that T with a zero that means true airspeed and also it means zero because we're not moving. If we had a 15 knot wind heading over our nose then it would read 15 while the ground speed would still read zero. Alright, now that we're in the air, yeah, yeah, this picture of what it looks like in the air. The radar is still off, and we can see a couple things have changed. First of all, the ground speed you'll notice is now 460. That's how fast the jet is moving over the ground. The T has changed to 408, so that is our true airspeed. Indicated airspeed, which is shown on the HUD, is usually a bit different because of air pressure and being thinner at higher altitudes. Indicated is uh, what determines how well the plane will maneuver, and uh, true is what you use in the mission editor, what briefings tell you, all that kind of good stuff. And you'll notice the line thing in the middle is an artificial horizon, and that is showing us currently that we are pointed up and banked a bit to the right, I believe. Now let's see what happens when we turn on the radar. Right here we can tell that uh, it just jumped to life. There's a confusing array of all kinds of information, and from this we can gleam anything we want, basically. It'll tell us anything we, know, we need to know about anybody, uh, given certain parameters. So, uh... On the f starting on the left, on the far left, we have the altitude scan indication thingies. Basic, those two circles and the numbers basically say that uh, where we are scanning is between 30,000 and 19,000 feet of altitude. The little pointer carrot arrow thingy is uh, showing the bar that it is scanning. For lock-on, it doesn't matter. It's not adjustable. Um, we can really just ignore it. Uh, and the part where it says too high, eh, again, that's a thing that does not really matter particularly. It has to do with PRF, pulse repetition, frequency, um, doesn't matter for us. The, uh, two circles that are at the very bottom of the display are telling us how wide we are scanning. It's called azimuth. How wide we are scanning is azimuth. And currently it's set to its wide setting of a hundred and sixty, hundred and twenty, sorry, hundred and twenty degrees, sixty to each side. The arrow at the bottom represents where it's scanning. If this was not a picture and actually moving, we'd see it going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, back and forth. We'll see that in action later when we actually fly a mission. And speaking of the bottom of the display, that represents our nose. The display of this radar, I think it's called a B-scope, something like that, but uh, that bottom line represents the very fine pinprick point of our nose. The very top line represents uh, out at distance, the very outermost distance that we are scanning. It's basically an overview, so if something uh, is towards the bottom of the dis bottom of the scope, do not be fooled into thinking that you are scanning behind you. If you see a blip there, it is not behind you. This is not Ace Combat 5. Up at the top, we have that 20. That's our range scale. That means that the very top line represents 20 nautical miles out. And the middle line 
represents 10 nautical miles. And then the other two are 15 and 5 nautical miles. All those blips, they represent 4 aircraft out in front of us at around 15 nautical miles. The brighter green ones are the most current displays, and they gradually fade to blackness and get updated when the radar picks them up. You can see that there are some remainder things because they're because we're closing in on the targets. The uh, yeah, we're closing in on the targets, and so they're slowly moving forward. And so you see those little ghost things. Those aren't the actual targets. The bright ones are. And then finally, the two lines in the very center, that is the target designator cursor, TDC. We can move that around and uh, move it over one of the blips and hit a key, and it will lock onto the target, and we will go to STT mode, which will be explained later. Uh, when we actually go over the uh, process of how to do everything, I will show you the key commands. Right now, just worry about the symbology.